Welcome you all to M Rajesh English class and in this class we will discuss about the dictionary reference skill. To refer a dictionary, to search or find out a word from dictionary, it is a skill. So today we will discuss about the dictionary reference skill. Okay. Before enter into the dictionary, to refer or to search or to find out a word, we have to know about the features from what we get from the dictionary. Okay. Now first head word. In the dictionary, we will get first a head word. Suppose for example, we will take a word pay and this is the head word. We can get it in dictionary. Then spelling. We can get the spelling in dictionary. The spelling of pay is P A Y. This is the spelling. We can get the spelling of all words in dictionary. Number two. And number three is phonetic transcription. Phonetic transcription is very much important to pronounce a word. For example, pay. You can get like this in the dictionary. P E I pay so that we can pronounce it the word exactly the standard Indian pronunciation we can get it from dictionary because in dictionary there is a phonetic transcription in every word no doubt in English we are having 26 alphabets but it has 44 basic sound and this 44 basic sound symbolize into 20 uh, 44 phonemes so that we can read we can pronounce the word exactly so this is the phonetic transcription you can get in dictionary this is the phonetic transcription and collocation collocation means having taken into the consideration of the head word pay we can make phrase or idioms or fuzzal verb that is called collocation. In this word, we have taken the example of pay, and this collocation is idioms pay attention, and the fuzzal verb pay back. So we can get the collocation from the dictionary. Then Parts of speech. Parts of we can get the meaning of the word in different ways. Sometimes we get the meaning as noun, as verb, as adjective, as adverb. So, or some other times some parts of speech. So, whenever we want to discuss. Whenever we are going to discuss about the parts of speech, the word has so many meanings as noun, verb, adjective, adverb. Mainly these four, noun, verb, adjective and adverb. And apart from that, we have to know the abbreviations to get the word used as noun, verb, adjective, adverb and etc. etc. So, we have to remember the Abbreviations. You can get it from dictionary. N stands for noun. N U, uncountable noun. N C, countable noun. G, verb. V I, intransitive verb. V T, transitive verb. A D J, stands for adjective. A D V stands for adverb. S B somebody. S T subject. S T H something. U.S.
American English. So these are the abbreviations. We must know whenever we are entry, we are going to entry into the dictionary. So these are the abbreviations. N noun, N C countable noun, N U uncountable noun, B T transitive verb, B I intransitive verb, A D J adjective, A D V adverb, S B somebody, S T subject, S T something, U S American English. So this is the part sheet. Now I will give the meaning of the word pay. For example, now after the parts of speech, we get the word, the meaning of the word pay is from noun, salary, wage, earning three meaning, from verb to transfer money, to give money. So here there are one, two, three, four, five, five meanings and from noun three and verb two. So whenever we discuss about the meaning, besides this, there is two meaning of a word. One is contextual, other is lexical. Contextual means the word has been used in which context. It is the contextual meaning and the word used as in dictionary is this is lexical meaning. So here we will discuss about the lexical meaning of a word which we can get it in dictionary. So Suppose I will write an example, I have to pay, the word has been used as pay, if I will be asked to find out the meaning of the word pay, then it will be very difficult for me to find out from this file. So before that I have to confirm whether the word has been used as noun or verb or adjective or adverb. After that, having been confirmed that it will be easy for me to find out from a single unit. Whether it is a noun, I have to find out from these three. If it is a verb, I have to find out from these two. Now, I have to pay. This is have to is an auxiliary verb. Now, it is confirmed. It is a verb. Now, I have to find out from verb to transfer money or to give money. Now I have to pay means I have to give money. So it will be easy for us. So before find out the meaning, one has to recognize the word has been used as noun, verb or adjective or adverb. Now how can you know? I have written here noun before auxiliary verb. Before auxiliary verb. Ramo is writing. So, it is the auxiliary verb. Before auxiliary verb, Ramo is a noun. After auxiliary verb, distance. Ramo is writing a letter. A letter is a word after auxiliary verb, but in a long distance. Here is a word after that, a letter. Ramo is a noun. He is writing a letter is also a noun. Word plus ION, CION, TIV, TION. Concept, conception, plus concept, plus TION. So this is the word we call as a noun. The last one is gerund. Gerund means having been added ING in a word, we can use as a noun. For example, play is a word, plus ING playing and it is it can be used as noun for example playing is a good exercise now this can be used as noun so this is all about the noun before auxiliary verb after auxiliary verb distance word plus ion cion tiv tion and gerund now verb after auxiliary verb very close I am writing. I am is auxiliary verb. Now this is the verb. Between subject and object. He reads a book. This is subject. This is object. In between subject and object you can get verb. Word plus S-E-S. -E 
no plural sometimes you can get a word it you can put s or es s but no plural pen pens this is not your verb because it became plural but here it it's it is not plural so it is your verb word plus s es no plural or ed second form third form of a word it at eaten for example it at eaten separate second form separate third form of a word it is that and adjective adjective is a word places before the second noun to qualify the noun for example ramo is a good boy places before the second noun this is the second noun before the second noun to qualify the noun this is the word to qualify the noun so good is a is an adjective now the example of adverb he runs quickly places after the verb to qualify the verb this is the verb to qualify the verb the word is quickly so this is adverb so here how to recognize a word as noun verb adjective and adverb having been identified or recognized the word whether it is used as a noun as a verb as an adjective or as an adverb one has to easily find out the meaning so here the dictionary gives us the meaning of the word and at the same time you can get the synonyms the same meaning these are the same meanings the number of meanings and antonyms the opposite meaning opposite meaning of page the proud this is the opposite of the word pay now i we will discuss about the idioms and phrasal verbs now the idioms and phrasal verbs idiom pay pay is the head word having been taken the head word we add another word to pay idiom pay attention means to look at likewise phrasal verb pay back pay is the head word and back is the word added with pay which means repay money borrow so this is all about your phrasal verb and here once again i repeat third word is the pay you can get spelling and we can get phonetic transcription we can get collocation we can get parts of speech and abbreviation meaning synonym antonym and idioms and phrasal verb and the main vital point is whenever you want to find a word from the dictionary you have to find out alphabetically so it has been arranged alphabetically so that one can easily find out the meaning of the word from the dictionary so it has been arranged alphabetically a b c d if the first letter is same we have to go for second one second letter of the word after the third word letter so accordingly alphabetically we have to find out the word from the dictionary so this is all about your dictionary reference skill so that we can get so many benefits from the dictionary dictionary is not meant for to get only the meaning at the same time we can get the phonetic transcription we can get the collocation we can get the meaning of uh, idioms phrasal verbs and parts of speech everything so being a student or being a person whenever we want to go into the dictionary we have to know about these skills so that we can get most use of it in future that's all thank you and before conclude my session i would like to tell once again you please do subscribe my channel rajas english class so that you can get many more things related to english grammar as well as in english course in coming days thank you